Our next speaker for the session is uh, Honorable Padmaja Kunappa Reddy ji. Uh, she is an engineer, an activist, a social worker, a computer science graduate from the Boston University. Uh, engineer by profession and baker by passion is what she describes herself. A member of the Nashua Public Library Board of Trustees. She has led a lot of philanthropic efforts, especially during the COVID crisis of the last two years, distributing masks, free food packets to the needy. We welcome you, ma'am, and we open the stage for your comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Kesha Ram is from my neighbor state. Uh, New, I, I live in New Hampshire. She is from uh, Vermont. So thank you, Suraj, for like, I'm really honored to be part of these like, you know, speakers. When I see that like everyone speaking, they're all speaking eloquently and whatever they've been doing. Oh my gosh, I need to learn a lot. I do want to connect with every woman on the dais to see like how I can grow and help out each other. So uh, happy Navaratri and thanks for everyone for organizing this amazing event. I didn't know what I, when I was getting into this last week and I joined up for Lata Mangi Puri. She was our state rep. Now I feel like you know, I want to be part of this amazing organization. So I like to share a few words about Mahatma Gandhi's journey because this is the 152nd birth anniversary. So Mohan, uh, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was a timid and shy lawyer who failed when he initially started his career in um, India as a in, a in a law firm. He worked hard to succeed as a lawyer in South Africa, then as an activist fighting for the rights for Indians in South Africa. Gandhi applied the same tactics he learned in South Africa to help India become independent from British rule. Mahatma Gandhi's progression from a failed lawyer to becoming the father of the nation is a lesson itself. So it is common to keep people on pedestal and then worship like them rather than learning from their work and see how we can like you know uh, implement those. So these are the things that get inspired by um, some of the quotes that they're very close to my heart. Um, one is like, you know, I think um, uh, someone said it, I forgot the name, sorry about that. Women rights are human rights. Human rights are women rights. This was given by Hillary Clinton in United Nations 1995 speech. And that's somehow like, it kind of very close to me, wherever you are, like if we should have a seat at the table. And the other one I like is um, a lot is uh, it takes a village. This came from South Africa, but again, Hillary Clinton used it for her book. It takes a village to do anything. I cannot say I did everything on my own. You need the community, you need your family, you need your friends to go to the next, or whatever you want to do. So do we do need to rely on our friends and family and the community. Again, like the other one is, like I said, women belong in all places where decisions are being made. Right now, um, again, I have the numbers for US, uh, which is 50% of the population, like, you know, as a woman, but only 20, 24% are part of the U US um, Senate, and 27% are the US house of representatives same thing in the tech industry also i'm from tech industry by the way um so we are like 47 percent u.s works for um sorry u.s workforce but only 28 percent are leadership position and for me to get i'm a director for engineering team and uh, it took me a while to get there and that's because like you know some of the obstacles i faced and also the challenges that i have within myself right like you know how to get there so let me speak quickly about myself, like you know, where I am and how I came here. So I was born and raised in India. I came to US in 1997 after I got married to my husband. And I do have a 19 year old son who has been active in politics since he was nine because I took him for campaigning. So I think one of the quote I like is uh, think globally, but act locally. That's what like you know, Kesha was saying earlier. We have everything in our local, like, you know, start locally, start with the, like, you know, baby steps. Uh, yesterday I was asking Sadaf, like, what should we do as a parent to encourage our kids to act like you know participate in politics she said take your kids for voting that's exactly what i did i took him for when i was voting i made sure i took him to poll booth and then he saw how i was voting and then i took him for door knocking or phone banking that's how he got like you know i mean i did not really tell him what to do but he got interested um so he did work in senate page he worked for our congress uh, woman uh, annie custer so i'm very proud that like you know he's able to do that and he did it also 
and uh, coming to like my life, it was not easy path for sure. I mean, everyone, whoever is speakers here, like they didn't, it did not happen overnight. They all worked very hard to come to this place. The same thing with me. Uh, my father passed away when I was in college and um, out of necessity, uh, I had to start working. But then whatever I do, whatever I like, you know, I enjoy doing it. I give my hundred percent. So that made sure like, you know, towards the next level whatever the opportunities I was getting, I was taking it. Like, and I'm not saying no, and I was moving away from my comfort zone. So one of the biggest thing I did is uh, once I got my US citizenship uh, in New Hampshire, New Hampshire is very active in elections. So everyone knows in US, the primaries happens in New Hampshire. So I got a call to volunteer. And born in India, and a lot of people has a taboo. Politics is like bad. They are not good for us. Like, you know, it's like, you know, it's all corrupted. So that's why we try to stay away from politics. But then I'm so glad I said yes for one volunteer call, which is to go and dot, uh, um, knock the doors and make the phone calls. And that changed in my life, how I see the world, how I see my community. And I met amazing people like Lata Mangipudi. She was there like last week. She was a state rep for New Hampshire. And uh, from that, I got a lot of opportunities like serving the community. I'm a part of a public library. Uh, I'm a board member. And also, I don't know many of you know about United Way of Nations. They do a lot and they did a lot during COVID, uh, raising funds for like, you know, face masks or like, you know, um, uh, food for kids that who can't afford, uh, who are relied on school lunches, right? So United Way was providing those. So because of um, that one phone call, I always say like, you know, be like, get out of your comfort zone, say yes to like, you know, some of these opportunities. And um, the other thing I, I wish I had this opportunity, which is having mentors, having a guide, having a coach. Uh, when I was in college, I wish someone told me, go talk to someone that like, you know, what you want to do next your career, like you pick a mentor, pick a coach. So, and again, you can have more than one because um, I have three passions. Of course, profession is a one and second one is baking. And third one is of course the community. So I do have member, like, you know, mentors in each area. So I, I made sure that I talked to them constantly to make sure that whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it right. And if I run into any issues, they can coach me or guide me. So two things I follow like very closely, which are uh, get out of the comfort zone. And second one is like, you know, having that mentor guide. And as a woman, especially, we need to support each other. So, um, so yeah, I think I want to close with those remarks. And again, thank you so much for giving this opportunity. Thank you so much, Padmaja ji. It was indeed a great experience to listen to your personal experiences as you have been coming across as a uh, right from your professional career to your passion as a social activist. Padmaja ji, in the Bhashra Madhe, two muddhe mala khuk mahatwa se vatta. Tani ekdam suruati lada samatla ki women rights are human rights. Manje mahilan se adhikar hits mana adhikar ahet te kai kai vegle nahi hit ki tena apna utrun deu shakto. He खूप महत्त्वाची भूमिका आहे जी त्यांनी मांडली आणि शेवट जो त्यांनी केला की महिलांनी एकमेकांना या सगळ्या प्रवासामध्ये एकमेकांची मदत करण्याची गरज आहे एकमेकांना साथ द्यायची गरज आहे सो विथ दीस पावरफुल वर्ड्स मॅम दॅट विमेन नीड टू सपोर्ट ईच अदर इन दिस जर्नी आय थँक यू वन्स अगेन फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस व्हर्च्युअल ग्लोबल कॉन्फरन्स अँड वी विश मोर पॉवर टू यू इन युअर वर्क थँक यू सो मच